Ooh, what is up you guys, and of course as always, welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your troll of course, the Scarender. And yeah, today we're going against Whale from the Whittles Twin Needles group on Discord. I will actually link that down below. I've been looking for my Wi-Fi battles on a different group for quite some time, been actually due to me playing a lot of leagues, um, not playing too much Wi-Fi battle, which meant that that group died. So with that in mind, I decided to go over to Michael's group and, uh, well, Basically, use him to my advantage, you know, but quite frankly, he, he loves to help me out, and I'm really glad he was able to do so by this group, if anything, and just try to get my battles going. Now, as you guys know, when it comes to Wi-Fi Battle, I tend to not be as meta, because I actually want entertainment to be as a focus here. So we're facing off against a group that are halfway through there, and uh, we're using a Defog Luminion with Tailwind, uh, End Your Weakness Policy Golem, which was the one Tweedles when we were using, I really want to use that myself, an Assault Vest, um, or what do you call it? Orangoro, a Gut Set Throw, um, Drakium, C, Turtle Nature, and Leftovers, Self Rock, um, Torterra. And we're going against the freaking Gustler of all the things an Oricorio Ghost, a Golem, the Lolan variant, the Kumala, uh, Mudstale, and Weezing. So, straight on at it, Weezing looks to be the tougher man here, but it also looks like possibly that I could sweep with my throw if I get the Tailwind going on with my Luminion, which really. Little to no issue depending on the Weezing set. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's of course go into match. So, from the get go here, we're gonna start off with Luminion as he goes for the Gust Lord. Now, this is alright. There is no way a Gust Lord can KO me, even if it's, of course, the spec set, if that was to be expected. So, I go directly for a Toxic or a Tailwind or U turn because let's face it, I want that residual damage going on directly onto the Gust Lord. As he goes for the great code, you know, this is this is alright. We can we can take this, no problem. As he gets a crit, so that's mm, nice. <laughs> so he clearly is specs though, even though the crit did matter to some extent, you know, it still is one of those things. Like I would be heavily whittled down no matter what. I would just really wanted that tailwind before going down. So Gustlord is here to stay. I can easily switch in my T1000 though, the Turtonator, and uh, get the shell smash going. There is no way a Draco takes us out, and of course. I expect that thing to outspeed to some extent. Even if it doesn't, I can still take it. Uh, so it goes to his Kamala, which is quite right for us because we are actually Drake EMC, which means that our C move will most likely to, you know, or it, it, it will Oko. Even if it was special defensive, there's really no way a Kamala can take this hit. We getting modest, bitch. <laughs> so yeah. I, I just really wanted this out of the way, and Kumala really just walled the special side of my Pokemon fairly well, so getting it out of the way is super, super helpful. But then again, you know, Turtonator's niche is kind of done with with that in mind, so, you know, the Kumala falls awesome, and uh, he's not going to switch in his uh, Mudstale. I was thinking about bringing my um, uh, Torterra in here, but I really, really just wanted the damage on this one too. And I really thought at plus two I should be able to kind of kill it. I, I am not even close. Like, that's like 75% maybe. Um, so, uh, you know, Turtonator, what are you doing? And of course, Earthquake is killing because Mud still has a very high attack. So, there is no way even at minus one I can take that hit. As we see leftovers, I was thinking it was a Solstice first, but no, it actually takes this very, very, very well. And I'm going to switch in my Grimlock. Which is, of course, the only beast you can deal with that. And I get my free rocks from here. There is no way you could play this thing differently. And uh, rocks is really important since, of course, his Kamali is gone, which means stealth rock is no longer a way of him to get rid of that. So, Weezing is very tough for me. And I felt that, you know, he's definitely going to go for a uh, Will O Wisp here, which means I can bring in Heimdall and just bring that in and get start things going. Now, I actually am creeping a defensive Weezing with this um, throw. What is unfortunate here is it probably has a few EVs on itself, and I really, really should have gone max speed and not focus so much on defense. Because without the Tailwind, Fro is really not as scary for, of course, the lives of Weezing. Now, he saw that I went for a bulk up, and I'm actually gonna go for a facade here. Basically trying to lure him out, and it looks like possibly another Sludge Bomb could kill. Facade does decent though, not as much as I wanted to, but it still is okay. I'm actually gonna wrap up with a knockoff, hoping that the Sludge Bomb doesn't kill from this range, though it very well could. As he switches out to Horikorio, trying to actually soak the hit, and um, 
this works very well for our favor because that means that we're gonna pop him. That's that's a dead bird. That, <laughs> that's a smack that dead bird up. I mean, it's a ghost already. Um, so this is our choice card, which would have been really interesting to see in action. Now, he's going to bring back the Weezing, and at this point, I'm actually not going to sack my rogue because I realized that it could very well outspeed his Gust Lord. So I'm actually going to switch in my um, uh, Oranguru, which is an Assault Vest variant, hoping to not be poisoned by the Sludge Bomb, because that's that would have been nice if I would avoid that, which we do. And we can easily go for a KO here. Now, he's actually going to switch this out, and he's going to switch out to his Golem. And uh, I'm not going to lie. A few things went through my head as I switched this Pokemon in. And one of them were, can I switch into my Torterra to soak a hit from this? There's no way I sit in Power Ice. I eventually decided to go for Energy Ball and go for the KO. And as you guys see, this is a C-move. Alolan Golem with the Continental Crush, and that's, um, we're, we're not gonna take that, and uh, quite frankly, you know, I I do not feel my defensive plays even though I have them, and I'm actually lose my Oranguru here, and that's awful, because Oranguru could very well have dealt with the most of the team here, so I'm bringing the Kara, oh, Kara across the Torterra, and he's of course gonna switch that out, going actually to sack his Mudstail, which is fair, and we're gonna bring the hammer and bring the hammer down on the tail. I have no idea why I said it like that, but boom, that's a dead horse. <laughs> so anyway, you know, his safe switch in here is, is of course the Weezing. And, and we're not looking too well right now. At this point, Weezing are walling us fairly well. He's gonna switch into Gust Lord. I really need my Torterra healthy to be able to actually tackle the Golem, which is as safe, because as Golem left Gust Lord and Weezing, all of them actually packing some kind of punch, and there is no way my variant of Golem is going to be able to tackle the remainder of his team, because he needs the rock polish and stuff like that, and we're not going to get that this Wife of There is just simply no way. So we make him fall, and we're going to actually bring in Fro here, basically go for the kill with the Storm Fro, because we can do that, and we already know that this Pokemon is not speedy. And uh, the, because he actually switched it out last time we had this as, as a matchup. So he does decide to switch out here and not trying to risk the matchup. As he switches in on his Alolan Golem and that's a dead Golem. That's that's dead. That's the deadest. There is just mwah, dead. <laughs> so it's two remaining Pokemon now. Is of course Weezing and Gustlord. And you know, plot twist here. There is simply no way for me of actually defeating Weezing as of this point. So yeah. We actually will lose this Wi-Fi battle, and it is fairly unfortunate. I'm actually switching out here, trying to get him to go for, um, as early as possible, for a Pain Split, realizing that, you know, he doesn't necessarily have that much HP. It is whether or not it is enough to recover Throw Up. Uh, haha, Throw Up, huh? Hey! <laughs> so, I'll do the play that I try to basically, you know, get things going, so... I do get this prediction right, but I also see already as it is that, you know, the Pain Split will not recover really that much HP because Fro has natural a lot of HP and it simply can't recover much more than all it has. So with that in mind, I will decide to just sack Fro and wrap the game up as it is. So with that said, I'm just going to speed up the last part here. And yeah, all I really can say here is that I switch this in Torterra and basically tell him on the chat, you know, wrap the game up, go to Gust Lord. Uh, he, he actually optimized for actually just kind of stalling the end here, and you know, I get what he's trying to do with this, I, I really do. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, on Showdown, stuff like this works because the, um, the pacing is so much faster, uh, but in Wi-Fi Bell, this part becomes very, very, very boring. So I use this as an example for any Wi-Fi Bells who will face me in the future, that if you have the means to offensively wrap up the game, please do so, because I am forcing myself here to just speed up things, showcase the leftovers, the black sludge, the will always burn. You know, there are too many factors before the turns really go in, so therefore I decided to forfeit, because we were two or three turns away of pretty much nothing. So just to be frank and have this said, I am not against people um, winning the matches against me. I feel that that could be the aiming part here, and this is definitely not it. But what I'm trying to say is that if you have the offensive means to wrap up the game, feel free to do so, because defensive shaking could definitely season as stalling, and stalling is a very, very loaded thing. 
uh, in every Wi-Fi Bell upload, I mean, it's a boring thing to watch because it's so repetitive. And for an upload, I want the entertainment value to be there. Therefore, if you have other options than the defensive checking, feel free to use them. Uh, that said, though, you know, I clearly choked this game fairly hard. Uh, Wales team is actually good. I, I felt that the it has an interesting aspect with the Scarf or Corio. I definitely could see it working really well. And Weezing clearly checks any offensive threat that he could be facing. And uh, the only way I would say that I choke is because I don't capitalize on Torterra's defensive capabilities to check the offensive Pokemon with like Mudstale and the Lingolem that I did have. Both did get big KOs on my side that I could have prevented. But that's my fault, you know, my predictions game are probably a bit too bad at, at the moment. And quite frankly, you know, I haven't played competitive Wi-Fi Bells in quite some time. So uh, I have a few things to learn and a few things to check out. I mean, it's different going from Shonen Ladder to Wi-Fi because the, the mindsets are different. You definitely feel that you have to think a lot more because both opponents actually don't stress plays at all. And I like that. I just forgot how to do it well and quite frankly... Um, it didn't pay off here for me at all, now did it? Uh, for Whale though, you know, props to that game. That team was really cool, and I really want to see Whale more times in the future Wi-Fi battle, because I enjoyed this quite a lot, I really did. And uh, make sure to check him out on that Discord group that Twiddles and Yellows are having, because, uh, yeah, you'll definitely find him there, and he goes for UU, RU, and PU. So, yeah, if you want to battle another player besides me, feel free to check him out. And I am also hanging there, so if you guys want to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on that chat, hit me up on anything, fucking say it in the comment section, I am a pussy, and I'll battle you. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, of course, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.